Hey everybody, Charles for HumbleMechanic.com and today I'm actually doing two different things. One, I want to shoot a video of the cabbie to show you guys what's going on with it. The other thing I'm doing is test driving this microphone that I bought so hopefully the sound quality will be a bit better than it had been before with just the uh, regular iPhone mic. So what you're looking at here is the VR6. Um, mostly put together, we got some odds and ends to finish up. I listed all that stuff in the blog post if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, the one thing I think I did forget to put in is right here is where the brake booster vacuum pipe goes, and I still need to make one of those, but that's not a big deal. Um, as we come around, new coolant bottle right there. This wire loom right here in blue, that's the loom I'm pretty sure that I don't need, but I want to get the car up and running before I cut that and terminate all the wire ends just in case. Um, this silver thing back here is a ground junction. Sorry about that glare. The sun's coming right through the top of the garage door. Um, you can see your throttle cable right here. New coolant pipe. I had to custom make this pipe right here which wasn't a terribly big deal. Um, right down here, you can see that black and orange piece right there. That's the Eurowise transmission mount. If you look real close, you can see where it bolts to the transmission down there. Uh, one of the cool things about this engine swap is even though you can buy a kit to bolt it right up from Eurowise, there's a million ways to do everything else. I mounted the power steering reservoir right there. Um, the reason I did that is one, it won't fit in the factory location, which is right about here. And it also kind of mirrors this, which is where the um, washer fluid bottle went. So it's something a little different. There's a million ways to do all that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool, I think. Uh, don't have the radiator installed right now. We're supposed to be finishing up the header today. Um, so the upper intake right here is going to come off and it's just more work with the radiator installed. These yellow wires here are for the uh, thermostatic switch in the radiator. So that will get all cleaned up once the radiator is properly installed. Uh, that giant hole right there is where the header's going. Uh, those yellow wires that you see there, again, just more that needs to get cleaned up. Um, you can see she's still sitting on her factory ride height. These wheels right here are from the black cabbie that's sitting out in the driveway right now. This tire right here is super flat, so we're going to be buying new wheels and tires before she's very roadworthy. Interior-wise, uh, the dashboard's back in. The lower kick panel's in. Uh, I just got to put the trim on that. The wires are routed properly just a matter of plugging everything back in excuse me and uh, getting everything installed properly a couple, fixing a few things as I go trying to get everything cleaned up you can see the back what would be the door card is still not installed uh, those stickers on the back of that seat I found damn near impossible to get out so I'm just letting it ride we'll see what happens with that stuff here's a pretty good shot of how stripped down the interior is and don't mind the mess I have laying in the passenger floorboard. That silver stuff is uh, sound dampener basically Dynamat. It's not Dynamat brand but that's basically the same thing. Come around here's where the tr the battery is going to be mounted in the trunk. Uh, I don't have any of that cleaned up. Sorry for the shake there. I don't have any of that cleaned up yet but we'll get all that done. I'm not that's you know, a couple hours worth of work and it's not a big deal. So that's pretty much where we sit. Uh, she's coming along, slow but sure. Um, there's another good shot of just how much stuff is out of the interior of the car. Uh, there's a pile of parts laying over there on the side of the garage. If you haven't seen this before, this is, uh, this is what she looks like in all her chalked glory. Um, hopefully in the next two weeks we'll have her up and running and uh, 
roadworthy somewhat. I can take her up to work and fine-tune everything. I really do want to put a new suspension on it before, hopefully before the Black Forest show in October, but we'll see how that goes. Everything's kind of riding on this header right now. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, you can also email me, charles at humblemechanic.com. Thanks.